Why do we celebrate Mardi Gras in a worship service? The simple answer might be, hey, it's a party. Who doesn't like to party? But there's more to the answer than that. Mardi Gras is also known as Fat Tuesday, the day before Ash Wednesday, which begins the church season of Lent. Fat Tuesday got its name for being the last opportunity to use up fat, meat, eggs, beer, and wine before entering into a time of fasting. It was an opportunity to indulge and to be extravagant with food. It was a good reason to party. But that's not the whole story either. Mardi Gras also marks the end of the church season known as Epiphany. Now, if you think back to the beginning of January, when we celebrated Epiphany with the story of the kings, or the magi, or the wise men, looking for the Christ child. The magi looked to a bright star in the night sky to guide them. They went to Jerusalem, they had a meeting with King Herod, and then they proceeded on to Bethlehem. Now, these foreign kings had a deep and profound understanding, an epiphany about Jesus. They came to see that this baby would have an impact on the lives of Jews and Gentiles, just like themselves. Now, Another significant point in the story is when the Magi receive a message from God telling them to go back home by a different route. The Magi deliberately ignore King Herod's instructions to return to him with news of where to find the child. They don't give in to the demands of an oppressive ruler. After finding Jesus, The Magi very wisely choose a different direction. It is no coincidence that the king's cake is a traditional sweet treat for Mardi Gras. The cake symbolizes the Magi's ongoing journey with its round and often braided shape. Some king's cake have a little plastic baby doll hidden inside representing the Christ child. Parading is also a symbol of journeying. Many parades during Mardi Gras are led by appointed kings or queens. These parade leaders invite us to journey with the Magi from Epiphany to Lent. So, in a Mardi Gras worship service, you are invited to consider your own journey In seeking to understand the significance of Jesus in your life, what have you discovered? Have there been moments of transformation? Did you choose to go into a completely different direction, guided by God? Do you want to be part of the parade that leads you into Lent, another phase of the journey? If so, let's get this party going. Put on your Mardi Gras masks and get ready to move and join the parade. Come on. When the saints go marching in And when the sun begins to shine And when the sun begins to shine Lord, I want to be in that number When the sun begins to shine When Gabriel blows that pleasant hold